Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm gonna be doing a makeup tutorial for you today based on this look here. Probably should not be doing a side by side with how I look right now, but anyway. So I wanna keep this tutorial really quick, simple to the point. So if you wanna recreate this look and come back to this video when you do, you don't have to sit through like a 17 minute long video. So I'm gonna get straight into it. I already have primer on my skin. So I use the Benefit Pore Professional Primer just around here where my kind of pores are a bit more open and enlarged. So for my foundation, I'm gonna be using the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk in the shade six. I used to have 6.5, but I find that six is actually way better for fake tan. Also the lighting is a little bit all over the place today. So sorry if it's too dull and then it gets too bright, the sun is kind of in and out and I use natural lighting. So I'm using my It Cosmetics number seven brush. And I use two pumps of the foundation to do my whole face and then I bring it a little bit down onto my neck and chest to match it all up. So for my concealer, I'm using the MAC Studio Fix 24 hour smooth wear concealer in the shade NC25. And I'll have links for all of the products that I use down below. They're all available on Look Fantastic. I'm working with Look Fantastic, but not for this video. I filmed this, you know, on my own accord, but I do have a discount code uh, for Look Fantastic for 15% off, which I'll leave in the description box down below. So if you are picking anything up, you can use the code to get money off. And I purposely tried to pick all products that you can get from their website. So if you do like them, then you can pick them up with a bit of a discount. And if you've watched my videos before, you know I like a lot of concealer. And to blend in my concealer, I'm gonna use a damp beauty blender. So to set under my eyes and bake and then set the rest of my face, I'm using one powder and it's the Laura Mercier, bleh, Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. This is just the original one. They do have a new shade Honey and they also have a new darker one as well. So I use on the clean side of my beauty blender, I pick up some of the powder and I place that underneath my eyes to bake. And then I also bake in between here and around my chin. Obviously it brightens under your eyes, but also at the side of your nose, it stops the oil kind of coming through and just helps your makeup last so much longer. Then letting that sit, but using a large brush, this is the Zoeva 106 powder brush. And I'm just applying some of the translucent powder, the same powder on the rest of my face. This is one of my holy grail products. Like it is such a nice powder and it doesn't matter if you're more tanned, like if you use it through winter and then you're more tanned in summer, um, it adapts to your skin tone. So you don't need to change your haters out. And I also bring it down onto my neck and chest because I did add a bit of foundation there. So I wanna set that as well. Okay, so moving on to a bronzer, I'm gonna use the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Bronzer in shade Dark. And if you've never used the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish powders, you can use them as a setting powder or you can use them as a bronzer like I do. Sorry if the lighting is a bit off, but yeah, this powder is so, so nice. It's not really matte, it's not shiny. It just basically gives such a nice kind of lumin luminosity to the skin hence why it's called skin finish it looks very natural and you don't have to apply it on top of foundation you can use it just on your bare skin and it builds up really nicely it doesn't go on too thick and chunky it blends really easily these are just so foolproof i love them okay so moving on to blush i'm going to use the nars orgasm blush this is just like a cult classic and recently I've started to use it again and I forgot how much I loved it. I just apply a little bit of it, but I just feel like you need blush to kind of make your skin look or your makeup look a bit more natural and bring a bit more kind of color to your face. And then moving on to highlighter, I'm gonna use Mine's a Bit Sheveled because I did drop it. The MAC Beaming Blush Highlighter. This one is so gorgeous. It's like a rose gold. I'll show you it here if we'll show. Cause I feel like I never can show it on my face. Such a nice goldy highlight. And I'm using a Morphe M510 brush. So moving on to brows, I'm gonna use the Benefit 24 hour brow setter clear brow gel. And I kind of brush my brows up a little bit. Okay, hopefully this angle's slightly better. I kind of moved it a little bit. So moving on to eyes while that brow gel sets, I'm not gonna go in with my brow pencil yet. So moving on to the eyes, like I said, this palette I picked up recently from MAC from Look Fantastic and I like I'm obsessed with it. I think it could be my favorite palette ever. So it's this one here and it's called, what is this actually called? This is the MAC Art Library eyeshadow palette in nude model. How fab are those shades? All right, so I'm gonna pick up a fluffy brush here. This is the Shard of Silvery Eye Blender brush and I'm gonna use this top middle shade here and I'm applying this into my crease the whole way across my eye and blending it up. So now that the first step is done, my brow gel should be dry now. So I'm gonna use my Benefit Precisely My Brow in the shade four, and I'm gonna fill in my brows. Hello. 
Hank just came in so if you can hear like rummaging and like a little pitter patter that's just him Okay, so they are my brows filled in and usually what I do is I actually go back in with a tiny bit more of the brow gel just to make sure they really stay in place and kind of like help brush the product through them so it just looks a bit more natural. And also when I was doing my eyes, I did kind of bring the shadow out in like a V just to kind of pull my eyes a bit and it adds more kind of drama. Sorry, that's Hank. <laughs> So taking the exact same shade as I used in the crease of my eye, I'm going to take the Zoeva 231 brush, Hank's now in the background, and I'm applying that same colour underneath my eye, but I'm using a smaller brush because I don't want it to be too smoked out. So I'm bringing it right to each corner and then kind of joining it up here. Okay, so next I'm going to use the shade Espresso. So this one down here and apply this to my outer V of my eye. So actually kind of like from halfway towards the outer V of my eye. And I'm using the same Zoeva brush that I used for underneath my eye. And I'm not bringing this like really high past the crease of my eye because I'm leaving that lighter color to kind of blend this out. Then I'm going to take a clean brush. So similar to the one that we just used for the outer corner, taking this uh, color that we started with and applying it here so just a little bit before the dark color and then we're going to do a lighter color in here so it kind of transitions from like light to medium to dark next i'm taking this shade here with a clean flat eyeshadow brush like this one and i'm applying this to the inner section of my eye then i'm going to go into the darker shade here with a new smaller brush this is the zoeva 230 pencil brush and i'm applying this dark dark shade along my lash line and at the very very outer corner of my eye and then bringing whatever's left on my brush into the crease i'm like really focusing it in on the crease not blending it out because those colors that we have already there will blend this out then i'm taking a really small brush like this one here if you can see that like really thin at the top too and then taking the darker shade in the palette and running this right along my lash line similar to where you'd put like a liquid or gel liner i just like to use the eyeshadow because it's softer and it's so much quicker and easier so anyway i'm gonna move on to eyeliner i'm using mac teddy eye pencil which is a really dark brown but you could use black if you prefer and at this stage i'm actually going to kind of push my hair up a bit which will look crazy but it just stops the kind of kink from the hairband because sometimes it can like ruin the front of my hair and i just did my hair so i don't want that then i'm going to take an eyelash curlers and curl my eyelashes this one is from laura mercier and it is literally the best it's so so good and then i'm taking my favorite mascara which is the benefit roller lash mascara and then same on the other eye sorry about the lighting i know it's not ideal right now just for a second when i do my mascara so i feel like i'm very talking very quietly in this video so i'm going to use lip liner this one is actually discontinued i'm sorry but i have not found it actually i have the patrick ta lip crayon in the shade she's humble is the exact same as this it's just i don't have the patrick ta one so i'm going to use my mac one this is mac oh honey lip liner which they've discontinued and then for my lipstick i'm going to use mac honey love which is literally my favorite nude ever Velvet Teddy is actually like this, just slightly darker if you want a darker nude than this. And then to set everything and finish off the look, which is actually essential, is the MAC Fix Plus uh, setting spray. This one is in the set the lavender scent i have not used the actual mac fix plus spray in so long and when i used it again the other day i was like oh i forgot how good this was like obviously other setting sprays are also good but this one just so nice so apply a decent amount and then i use my little fan and let it dry in so you might see a few little droplets still left on my skin but basically the setting spray just takes away the kind of powdery look of your skin so if you've used a lot of powder like setting powder like this and your bronzers and stuff it just kind of like melts it all in together and makes your skin look more skin like so makes your face look a bit more natural which is what i need really and then using whatever powder is left on my blender just to kind of modify the center of my face after using the setting spray but that is the finished makeup look so in the picture that i have on my thumbnail and on my instagram i did wear lashes and they're the mac 48 lashes which i cut in half and then just put half it on the outer corner of my lashes but seeing as today i'm not actually doing anything and i don't need lashes and it's so warm that i'm sweating that i actually could not think about putting lashes on i'm gonna leave for this, this tutorial but feel free to put lashes on if you want that is it for this tutorial hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did please give the video a thumbs up subscribe if you're not and leave any suggestions for videos you'd like me to film in the comments down below and yeah that's it for me thank you for watching bye